Now, since lockdown, uh, you may have noticed an increase in four-legged friends when you're out to get in some fresh air. And apparently, the Dogs Trust told us that searches for buy a puppy rose by 120% in the month wow. after we were told to stay indoors, I know. Which is kind of worrying too, because if you get it, you've got to keep them and look after them, obviously. But aside from that, uh, we all know that dogs are fantastic company. But do they also help with preparing you for a family? What do you think, Kay? Because there's an element of there's responsibility. You've got to pay for them. You've got to pick up poos. You've got to do the works. It's very similar, isn't it? Well, yeah, I think so. I mean, we didn't have a dog before we had the kids. So the kids came before the dog. The dog, unfortunately, had just gone to get her dinner. She's been sitting beside me the whole time. But I have to say that I do think that a man who's lovely with all animals, you know, um, I, I would think that they would be a better parent. It's just that sort of nurturing. I mean, Ian is just, actually, he's a bit worrying with the dog. He's taken it a little bit far. You know, I mean, I, I get, I, see, there you go. That was taken this morning. So I'm up and out of bed at quarter past six. The dog snuggles into my position. And I tell you what, he's a lot more affectionate with the dog than he is with me. Aww. It's a bit of a worry. What do you think? Oh, no, I, that, that doesn't concern me. For I just love that, Kay. That's the way oh, we really? are. Oh, no, that's the way I am with my dog in our household. I mean, I, I had to come up with a really elaborate lie in order to get our dog. What did you do? <laughs> because... Um, the, oh, it, my sister and I fell in love with this little thing and I and Frank wasn't that into having a dog, another responsibility and, you know, we're away a lot and blah, blah. But we were so convinced this little thing would be ours and we came back and I told him this rather elaborate lie that we had it on a trial basis just to check that the dog liked us and that we all fitted together as a little family. He didn't believe it, but he kind of went along with it for a day or two and then it, when I knew he would have fallen in love with her, um, he said, that was all a lie, wasn't it? She is ours. And I went, yeah. Yeah, it is. But I was willing to make up this lie just, just in case to make it sound like I hadn't just arrived back with this little dog. But she is honestly the centre of our world alongside our little oh, girl, obviously. No. The two of them get along really well. And to be fair, I do think there's something lovely about someone who loves their animals. And particularly with Frank, he's, you know, if you've got a dog before having a baby, of course it's not the same thing. But there are similarities in terms of the responsibility. You've got to make sure there's someone looking after it. You've got to clean up after it. You've got, you know, it's, it's a little starter step, I think. I don't think there's a bad way to look at it, really. I mean, it's a good sort of practice. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a cat person, as you know. I'm a cat person. So I don't know about how much of, you know, getting a, a, a person's... Um, how they, how they, they, they're going to be with a baby from stroking my cats or anything. But, but you know if they but, were mean to your cats. Well, I'd, I'd know if they were mean because yeah. they'd be hissing. They, mm. My cats don't hiss, but they'd be hissing. But yeah. I think if I can get anything from this, it would be, you know, because I've actually been in lockdown teaching Tiny and Temper how to fetch. And a lot of people said cats don't fetch. Yes, they do. <laughs> they absolutely do. This is Tiny and I'm playing fetch with her. And I'm speaking to her and I'm saying to her, can you fetch? Come on, bring it, come. And then she, she comes and then she's like, come on, up. She comes up and then she drops. She absolutely does it. Yeah. There she goes. Oh, she my drop goodness. It, drop it. Drop. Oh, oh you're such a good drop cat, Mum. Drop for me. But drop what it. that would... Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> what drop that it would... Like <laughs> you see, I see her and I just go into this natural thing. But what I would say <laughs> is it teaches patience <laughs> in a man. That would show me patience in a man if he could get the cat to fetch. Yeah. Honestly, I feel, Brenda, I feel like I've never Brenda. seen anyone... Yes. I have to say that cat was completely ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 you, you know need to watch that back again. She that wasn't. That cat <laughs> is extraordinary. I have a cat and a is dog. It? Yes, because if I said to my cat, go fetch, my cat would go Brr, and just walk away. <laughs> she, I mean, I can't tell my cat to do anything, so I have found that quite incredible, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> she fetched, that is she unbelievable. It and she dropped it. And Honestly. she did it again. So, yeah. so what's Joe like with your dog then, Stacey? Do you know what? I, when we talk about do they set you up for having a baby, I honestly think they, they give you a false hope. Because with dogs, you, you, go for, you buy them as puppies and you teach them how to go to the toilet outside and they continue to know how to do that for the rest of their existence. Um, but with kids, it's not the same, is it? Once you potty train a child, you're backwards and forwards for years. They're still... <laughs> my kids, I mean, I hate to say it, but uh, at 8 and 12, I still have to have the conversation of how we wipe our bums properly. <laughs> as, that does not happen with a dog. They know exactly what they're doing. So I don't think it does set you up. It gives you false hope as 
as to yeah. how easy it might be to train a child. And every time you come home, it's love, isn't it? Yeah. From a dog, it's absolute love. Yeah, That's they never get to that age where they're like, I hate you, Mum. No, I hate you. Don't <laughs> speak to me. You never get that. <laughs> anyway, we all love our dogs.